hello everyone and welcome back in today's video we are going to focus on a very very important interview question which is what is a functional interface and provide an implementation of functional interface using the lambda expression so i also have faced this problem in the interviews so many times and i'm uh, sharing all the questions which i have faced in the interviews uh, one by one so before i start i just want you to know that uh, i have uploaded uh, top 10 java interview problems with answer I have uploaded many videos but I will strongly suggest that you must watch this particular video because all the answers that I put here in this particular videos are my from my notes so you can refer this and that's, that will be very helpful for you. So let's get started with our video. So in our videos the first term that we have used here is the what is functional interface first and then lambda expression and then we are going to look at how we can create a functional interface and then how we can create the implementation using the lambda expressions so before i go ahead let me just uh, take you to my word file and i will show you uh, one notes here that i have created so that you can have a better understanding on the theoretical part also because before you go ahead and start uh, solving uh, the question uh, using the code you must explain the theoretical part to the interviewer that will create a very good impression so first of all you just start by explaining what is functional interface so you can see an interface with exactly one abstract method is called functional interface okay and see there is one annotation called at the rate functional interface which we can add on top of the interface and it is not mandatory to use but see if you will use at the rate functional interface on top of any interface it will make that interface a functional interface so even if you will try to add more than one suppose this is an interface and currently i have only one abstract method so by default in an interface all the methods are public and abstract that you already know so by default this is an functional interface but i can add other abstract method also here if i don't want to do that accidentally in future or for anybody other programmer also what i will do is i will write here on the top i will write at the rate functional interface so in future if someone tries to add some method here it will throw an compile time error saying that it's a functional interface you cannot add one more than one abstract method here so hope you understood this functional interface part now let's see what is the lambda expression because we have to provide the implementation using lambda expression so we must know the theory of the lambda expression also so see lambda expression is an anonymous function and and it was introduced in java 8 both lambda expression and functional interface were introduced in java 8 okay that is a function without any name or identifier okay so in lambda expression we don't provide any function name or any identifier and with a list of formal parameter and a body okay so see uh, and obviously the lambda expression has a type and which is a functional interface type if this lambda expression is quite a big topic so if you want me to cover all the small small points of lambda expression you can comment and you can let me know i will create a separate video on that and i will provide each and every explanation on that and some uh, uh, examples also of lambda expression so for now you understand this and the simple code that i have written here this is one lambda expression which takes two parameter x and y and it just uh, the implementation of this is x plus y so whatever whatever is provided it will just do the addition so now let's see how we can create a functional interface and how we can provide the implementation using the lambda expression so many times we just forget this thing and that creates a very bad impression in the interview so we must know these things all right so now what i'm doing is it i'm creating one interface and and i will name it as test okay all right so now i've created one interface and i'm named it as test okay now the return type of the method that i'm using here is suppose it's a void so in add method i'm taking two parameters suppose i am taking int a and int b okay so my add method will take two parameters a and b all right so now what i have to do here is see i will also show you what exactly will happen see currently it's a functional interface because it has only one method 
what I, I can do is if I'll try to see if I'll copy this and paste it here and here I will suppose write sub so it's a subtract okay and see currently I can add this now it's no longer a functional interface but see if I'll try to add the annotation called functional interface here what exactly it will do is see one second let me just show you okay one second actually I have to change the class name here it is contracting with that one second one second functional interface is not an annotation type one second something is happening here okay sorry at the rate functional interface okay something okay let me just try to ch i think it is creating problem because of this i will just name it as functional okay that is because because i, I have named it as the functional let me just uh, rename it i will just refactor and rename and i will just name it as functional okay fine see it was creating problem because uh, i have named my class itself as a functional interface see now currently see i have the functional interface here and if i'll try to paste it here and if i'll do the sub also see what error i'm getting here is invalid functional interfa interface annotation test is not a functional interface it will directly throw and compile time error saying that this particular interface is not an functional interface because the functional interface annotation makes sure that you only have only one abstract method now if i'll comment this you can see that the error is gone because now it's a functional interface so now i have created one interface now in my uh, function what i will do is here i will create a variable of type test this is my test type and i'm creating one variable test uh, final final value okay and what i can do is i will provide a lambda expression okay so in lambda expressions i will take two variables a and b and what i am going to do is i am going to do a plus b all right fine all right void method cannot return okay actually i am using the return type as void so i have to change it to in type that then only i can return it from here okay otherwise i have to use here console log because if i'll use the void fine what i will do is now you have provided the implementation of that particular add method okay i have created one implementation using the lambda expression now how we can use that is see now what i can do is i have created the reference of my interface now by using that reference i can call the add method all right and this particular implementation will act as the implementation of this add method okay so it will take two parameters and it will do the addition so final value dot add and now if i'll pass here one comma two now if you will see if i'll run this you can see we are getting three here all right so this is how it works so hope you have understood this particular video and hope this will be helpful for you in your interviews so make sure you subscribe to this channel and uh, please let me know if you want me to cover any particular videos otherwise i will be covering more such videos in future so make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you so much for watching